Hello traders, welcome to the daily technical forex forecast for the 6th of July. My name is Andrew Elshanetsky, I am a technical analyst at Triumph of Fix. And as usual, we start our forecast with the euro USD currency pair. The price fell down sharply yesterday, but the fall was in small volume. And the general station on the market has not changed. The pair is still located in the local range between two strong volume levels. They are the support 1.1517 and the resistance 1.1827. The large volume is concentrated within this consolidation, therefore, our previous scenario remains actual. We can regard new positions only after the sure exit of the price from it. The breakout moment must be keen and supported by the large volume, which should be a more accurate signal for entering the market. While the price is located within this range, we should omit this instrument from our trading plan. The pound. The price fell down sharply yesterday. Moreover, the downward movement was supported by the large volume, but it, it didn't change the general situation of the market as the pair is still trading in the local range between the level of support 1.3066 and the level of resistance 1.3291. That's why the best decision with the pound is just to wait for the breakout for one of these levels and the exit of the price from the range. The movement must be sharp and supported by the large volume, which will show us against the paid breakout and be a more reliable signal for entering the market. Until then, while the pound is located within its range, we should omit this instrument from our trading plan. The yen. The price resumed growing and now is located a little bit below the level of resistance, the upper limit of the local range, 111.00. Hence, we can consider a scenario for its breakout which will be a great bullish signal and will consent us to open long positions. The breakout movement must be abrupt and supported by the large volume, which will be a more precise signal for entering the market. A stop should be located under the breakout volume bar and the potential of the deal is more than 110 pips. So with the yen, long positions up to the short breakout of the level of resistance. The Canadian dollar. The price is still trading at the level of support 1.3138, that's why our previous scenario remains actual. We can consider its breakdown, which should be a great bearish signal and will allow us to open short positions with this instrument. The breakdown movement must be abrupt and supported by the large volume, which should be a more reliable and precise signal for entering the market. A stop should be located above the breakdown volume bar and the potential of the deal is around 100 points. So with the Canadian dollar, short positions after the confident breakdown of the level of support. The Australian dollar. Nothing has changed here. The price is still located in the local range between two strong volume levels. They are the support 0.7318 and the resistance 0.7440. The large volume is accumulated within this consolidation, therefore we should wait for the exit of the price from it and only after that we can regard new trading scenarios. The breakout movement must be swift, sharp and supported by the large volume, which should be a more precise and secure signal for entering the market. While the pair is located within this consolidation, we should omit this instrument from our trading plan. And our last instrument for today is gold. The price stopped growing and now is located in the local little consolidation, but the volume of the market is still small, so we can consider new, new scenarios at the moment. That's why our previous scenario is still actual. We shouldn't wait for the appearance of large volume and creation of new volume levels and zones, and only after that we can regard new positions here. So with gold, we need to wait for the appearance of large volume and only after that we can enter the market. Let's take a look at the sentiment. This indicator confirms our scenario with the yen, which is a good additional signal. Uh, the contrary situation with the Canadian dollar, so we should be extremely careful trading this instrument. With all other currency pairs, we need to wait for exit of prices from consolidation and only after that we can consider new trading scenarios. For today it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researchers. Take care. Bye-bye.